chickens crossing the road in one central Texas town are getting a lot farther than the other side. KXAN's Anna Wernicke shows us the problem with poultry in Bastrop. For three blocks in Bastrop, cars don't just slam on their brakes for stop signs. Because on Farm Street, it's the chickens that are in charge. The chickens have first choice at the road. But that hasn't always been the case. They told me that they were going to catch them and euthanize them. And we didn't want that to happen. Regina and her neighbors went straight to the mayor, who passed an ordinance giving the animals legal rights. They, they're not owned by anyone. They're totally free range. And they found a nice little spot to live, so we let them go and be a part of the town. But what started as a flock of 25 birds has now turned into more than 200. <laughs> and some of the chickens crossing the street keep going. So they've gone across the railroad track and gone into the other parts of town where not everybody wants them. Mayor Ken Kessler says any bird that strays from the protection of the sanctuary should be considered fair game and in danger of becoming dinner. Last year, the mayor says people began contacting him about a chicken that was tearing up people's flower beds. So the mayor actually himself went out and caught the chicken. <laughs> but Robert and Jim, he said he did the humane thing and released the chicken away from the city unharmed. What a strange problem to have. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Anna, thanks. All right, the Endangered Species Act has helped the federal government protect and stabilize populations at risk. Right now, the U.S. is protecting more than 125. I'm sorry, more than 1,500 species across the country. In Texas, 69 animals and 31 plants are protected. That includes seven different types of salamander. One of them has a home at Barton Springs. Just last year, city crews renovated a key area next to the pool to help protect the salamander.